Next, I want to provide a brief highlighted overview of the timeline that has been established to date through witness interviews and other information. Again, this is our understanding at present and is subject to change and further refinement as more facts are collected. On July 3rd, the rally in Butler, Pennsylvania was announced. On July 6th, the shooter registered to attend the rally and performed a search for, quote, how far was Oswald from Kennedy? On July 7th, the shooter traveled from his home to the Butler Farm Show grounds and remained there for approximately 20 minutes. We assess this show's advanced planning and reconnaissance on his part. On July 12th, the shooter traveled from his home to the Clareton Sportsman Club, where he practiced shooting. On the morning of July 13th, at approximately 10 a.m., the shooter returned to the farm show grounds and remained there for about 70 minutes before returning home again. At approximately 1.30 p.m., while at the residence, the shooter's father gave him a rifle for the purpose, he believed, of going back to the Sportsman Club. About 25 minutes later, the shooter, the shooter purchased ammunition while en route to the Butler Farm Show grounds. The subject then arrived at the scene and was moving around the Farm Show grounds close to the American uh, Glass Research AGR building from which he ultimately committed the attack. Shortly thereafter, at approximately 3.51 p.m., the shooter flew a drone approximately 200 yards from the Farm Show grounds for about 11 minutes. The drone and controller were later found in the subject's car. Analysis has not revealed any photos or video taken by the drone, but we can confirm that he was live streaming at the time and would have been able to view, to view it on his controller. The first reported sighting of the shooter by local law enforcement was at approximately 4.26 p.m. At approximately 5.10 p.m., the shooter was again identified by local law enforcement as a suspicious person around the AGR building. And at approximately 5.14 p.m., a local SWAT operator took a photo of the shooter. At about 5.32 p.m., local SWAT observed the shooter next to the AGR building using his phone, browsing news sites, and with a range finder. At approximately 5.38 p.m., the photo of the shooter taken earlier was sent to local SWAT operators in a text message group. Subsequently, Approximately 25 minutes prior to the shooting, the U.S. Secret Service command post was notified of a suspicious person. Officers lost sight of the subject from approximately 6.02 p.m. to 6.08 p.m., but continued to communicate with each other in an attempt to locate him. Recently discovered video from a local business shows the shooter pulling himself up onto the AGR building rooftop at approximately 6.06 p.m. And at approximately 6.08 p.m., the subject was observed on the roof by local law enforcement. At approximately 6.11 p.m., a local police officer was lifted to the roof by another officer, saw the shooter, and radioed that he was armed with, quote, a long gun. Within approximately the next 30 seconds, the shots were fired. The evidence recovery team found eight shell casings at the scene next to the shooter's body.